back to The Ed Show. Mitt Romney is living in a fantasy land. He's hoping Hispanic voters will just forget everything that he has said about immigration over the past year. The Romney campaign released a statement on Wednesday saying that our goal is to hit 38% with the Hispanic vote. They got a whole lot of work to do, folks. President Obama has held a two to one lead among Latino voters for months on end. And new polling shows President Obama with a whopping 35% lead on Romney among Hispanic voters. It won't be easy for Mitt to shake the etch a sketch on this one, that's for sure. He's taken a hard line stance, let's count them, on immigration and wasn't afraid to speak out during the primary season. Remember, he said this about Arizona's infamous SB 1070 law. I think you see a model here in Arizona. They passed a law here that says that says that people who come uh, come here and try and find work, uh, that the employer is required to look them up on E-Verify. Romney is also not a fan of the DREAM Act. The question is, if I were elected and Congress were to pass the DREAM Act, would I veto it? And the answer is yes. Then there's the time that he hammered his opponent, Rick Perry, Republican governor from Texas, for not for, for, for just being just too soft on immigration. When you were governor, you said, I don't want to build a fence. You put in place a magnet. You talk about magnets. You put in place a magnet to draw illegals into the state, which was giving $100,000 of tuition credit to, to illegals that come into this country. And, of course, there is Romney's famous self-deportation policy. The answer is self-deportation, which is people decide that they can do better by going home because they can't find work here because they don't have legal documentation to allow them to work here. And so we're not going to round people up. Republicans love self-deportation policy so much that they've adopted it into their party platform of the GOP convention. And, of course, the icing on the cake, Sheriff Joe Arpaio will speak at the GOP convention next week. What else do you need to know? I mean, we won't get into Sheriff Joe's colorful past on immigration. Joining me tonight is the mayor of Los Angeles, Antonio Villaraigosa. Mayor, it is great to have you on The Ed Show. I appreciate your time tonight. Uh, you know, Great to be with you, Ed. You bet. After that litany of issues that we just played, where Mitt Romney has been with just the in the last 12 months, how in the world do Latino voters warm up to a candidate like that, if at all? with great, great difficulty. Uh, you mentioned he was somewhere, I was thinking Mars, uh, when they think that they're gonna get anything close to 38% of the Latino vote, they're just not. Uh, every poll I've seen, uh, it's at least two to one, sometimes as high as 70% for the president, never higher than 21 or so percent uh, uh, for Governor Romney. Uh, I just don't see it happening. And you, and you, said, you mentioned why. Uh, he calls Chris Kobach, the author of the Arizona and Alabama laws, a, a great American. He touted his, uh, his endorsement. He called the, the Alabama and Arizona laws a model for the nation. Uh, the DREAM Act, uh, a handout, serving the military, going to college, uh, the self-deportation of 11 million people. Those 11 million undocumented have 5 million citizen children. So the party of family values and a man who speaks about family is saying that they ought to leave their kids uh, here in the United States, the kids who are citizens, their kids who, who are maybe dreamers, who know no other country but this one. I don't know how they do it. And if you remember during the debates, and I'm glad you referenced those debates, didn't uh, Mr. Kane talk about electrifying the fans? Uh, Mr. Romney had an opportunity when he said that uh, to chime in and have a McCain moment and say, we're not going there. Maybe we want to secure the border, but we're not electrifying fences. So when you see uh, the kind of rhetoric, uh, the castigating of immigrants, uh, the, the Ryan budget that would just devastate Medicare and uh, Social Security, the fact that their cuts would disproportionately impact our kids who are starting to go in school in, in greater numbers, scholarships for them. Uh, all of the, for all of those reasons, cutting uh, the President's Affordable Care Act, 9 million Latinos will benefit from that. They're the group that, the demographic group that most benefits from the Affordable Care Act. So for all of those reasons, I expect that they're not getting anything well, above 25%. In the midst of all of what you just said, Mayor, the GOP, it's not just Mitt Romney, the GOP has now put the self-deportation policy into the party platform. 
I mean, I isn't, this, isn't this generational damage that the Republicans are doing to themselves with the Latino Absolutely. voters? Absolutely. And, and having uh, Sheriff Arpaio speak at the convention, I think, speaks volumes about uh, th that party uh, and that they are captured by the extreme right of their party. Look, there are a lot of decent Republicans out there uh, that believe in the DREAM Act, to support comprehensive immigration reform, and I think even they are turned off by this self-deportation call and uh, sure. the, their opposition to the DREAM Act and other things.